Hi guys, today we're gonna talk about um, correlation. So, what is correlation? A correlation is a statistical measure that expresses the extent to which two variables are linearly related. So, it's a common tool for describe simple relationships without making a statement about cause and effect. Um, we have basically three types of correlation, as you can see here in the image. We have the positive correlation, that is when we have two variables, let's suppose x and y, and when x goes up, we have y going up, and when x goes down, y also goes down. So when the haps we have a sign of positive correlation, we also have negative correlation. In contrast to positive correlation, when x goes up, um, y goes down. And when y goes up, x goes down. And that's a sign we have a negative correlation between two variables. And we also have the type of correlation there is no correlation at all that is when we can't see any nearly correlation between the two variables x and y okay so you guys may be asking yourselves how we are going to measure the correlation between two variables and we have an estimate to calculate this, okay? And it's called the correlation coefficient. So let's see. Let's talk about the correlation coefficient. That is basically an estimate to measure the correlation between two variables, okay? And so. Here, we're going to talk about the Pisa's correlation coefficient because we are supposed that our variables are linearly correlated, right? And the way we calculate the Pisa correlation coefficient represented here by R is multiply the deviation from the mean between the variable x and y, as you guys can see here, okay, let me just write light here, these are the deviation from the mean for the two variables, and we divide all of that by the standard deviation for each variable that is represented here by x and y, okay, and the value r could be and um, represented by values that ranges between positive one and negative one and when r is equal to positive one we say that we have a perfect positive correlation okay when r is equal to negative one we say that we have a negative a perfect negative correlation and when r is equal to zero we say that we have no correlation okay so that is the estimate that the data scientists use to calculate and measure if there is a correlation uh, between two given variables okay so let's move on about the correlation matrix that is basically a representation right that show the correlation between two or more variables okay so here we have an example and um, of the correlation matrix obtained it for a data set from high school students and we have here five variables, okay, 
that is represented by both columns and rows. So here we have the rows. We have five rows. And here we have the columns. Five columns. You, you guys can see that we have the same um, names for rows and columns, and that's the uh, how the matrix works, right? And the way we analyze it is by comparing the columns and and the rows. So we have here analyzed the first row. In the first column, we can see the the estimate of the correlation obtained by these two variables is one. There is a perfect positive positive correlation, and that makes sense because we are uh, comparing the same variable, right? Perhaps for all variables that are the same between columns and rows, so we can just remove the diagonal from this matrix, okay? And so analyze the first row or the first observation in the second column exam score we can see that we have a we can see that we have a correlation coefficient of zero right 0.82 that indicates the the variables I always spent studying and right here and exam score have a positive correlation and that makes sense because the way we interpret this is the the more hours we spent studying the high will be our score in the exam so this is what the data set is indicated and if we analyze the same row here the hour spent study but in the fourth column with the hour spent sleeping we can see the the estimates indicate that we have a slightly negative correlation of negative 0.22 and that indicates that the hours we spent study is more likely we sleep less hours and that makes sense because we are spending the hours that we are removing from our sleeping and adding to our study so we get higher score in the test okay and that's how we analyze the correlation matrix Okay. Let's move forward. Now we're going to talk about scatter plots. Uh, we, data scientists, use scatter plots a lot to vi visualize the relationship between two data variables. Okay. And the x variable represents an um, one variable and the y x represent the other variable okay let me just write it here and um, as you guys can see the x marked here in the graph represent each row or each ob observation we have in our data set we can also say that it represents a data point And by the way, this data point is disposed in the graph. We can analyze if the uh, if one variable have any relationship, right, with the other variable. And we can also say if this relationship is a positive or a negative one. And as we can see here, we can even draw a line, right? And we can say that as x goes up y also goes up so we may have a positive correlation here and that open space so we can do further analysis and explore more our data set but we can visualize if two variables uh, have any linear relationship by and use this kind of plots, okay? And that's it for today, guys. So let's 
go for the Python class.